is this world? What have they done to us? What did they do to us? <laughs> I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do? Who sit out here to do a story? To do a story yes, about what? Uh, as you can see, there's construction on the way here. Uh, they've dug out a little bit. There's water has accumulated. Traffic's backed up. And the city the size of Houston, there's always traffic. So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you. What in the fuck are we doing here? So what's the big fucking deal? What the fuck are we doing out here? I ask you. What in the fuck are we doing here? Yeah, okay, that'll do. <laughs> anyway, what is going on here? So remember, these people vote. Uh, what the fuck's going on here? Um, let's start with this one. Three months in the UK takes off. Thousands are now protesting against the Harry Potter creator, billionaire J.K. Rowling, after she calls out this feminist library for having work celebrating the death of lesbians as elements of the gay community is now being labeled as transphobic. But one student in particular is going extremely viral when discussing it with his professor. So these guys want to talk about J.K. Rowling? Is that So what's going on with that? What do you want to know? Yeah. She's, she's had a pretty controversial past. I just want to know, like, what are your thoughts on it? Do you still like her work despite her uh, bigoted opinions? So let's get specific though. Let's define bigoted opinions. What opinions are bigoted? We're going to treat this as a thought experiment. I'm not going to say yeah. what's right or wrong or what way to think. The whole point is to learn how to think, not what to think. Yeah. yeah. So when you say bigot, you, you're, you're starting with the conclusion that given her bigoted opinions. Yeah. So first her, uh, let's start with does she have bigoted opinions? So when you, when you say bigoted opinions. She has had a history of being extremely transphobic, I've heard. And you've heard. So what? can you give me an example? Uh, if you look at her Twitter, uh, I think uh, you can see a few things. Um, if you want, I could try and find yeah, see something. If you can find, see if you can find one. In 2019, she said, Dress however you please, call yourself whatever you like, sleep with any consenting adult who will have you, live your best life in peace and security, but force women out of their jobs for starting that, for stating that sex is real. So you find that bigoted? What do you find about it was it was deemed transphobic. I, like I myself. Do you find that transphobic yourself? Uh, I don't really have an opinion on it, but I'm just going with what a How lot of awkward. other people have said. <laughs> how awkward! It just would never end. It, 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 it's funny because that's how these arguments go. They they literally do. They they will just say an outlandish statement like J.K. Rowling and her bigoted opinions. And yeah. then when you call, so what's bigger than an opinion? Oh, I don't know. That's just what everyone else is saying. Um, have have your own thought for once in your fucking life. Hmm. You know, these people vote. Why? Um, so that was the first one. Check this one out. This one's actually a little bit more worse. <laughs> more worse. Listen, listen to what this guy says, right? I, I'm, I'm, I've assumed gender here, but this guy with... Um, <laughs> With a haircut like, like, I don't know, noodles. Anyway, ready? <laughs> I feel sorry for all the gay people in Palestine being bombed by Israel. You're, you're supporting a regime that throws gay people off buildings. <laughs> I'm, I'm not supporting any regime. You have a Palestinian oh flag around your neck. God. He has a Palestinian flag around his neck. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Look, watch his face, ready? He literally goes, oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm, I'm not supporting any regime. You have a Palestinian flag around your neck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Come on. Stop voting. These people vote. Um, mm. I got another one. Um, so I found a few this week. All right, here's one. Okay. The coronavirus lasts longer and is more severe, but Trump is guaranteed out of office in November. Oh gosh, yeah, I would definitely take that deal. Would you take that deal? Yes, I'll take it. How many people would need to die from the coronavirus for you not to take that deal? I would say a million. What, what if it went the to a fuck is going so on so here? she literally just said she if anything up to a million people she's taking that deal but over a million so she would she's cool with with up to a million people dying so that Trump doesn't get in Are people Wait for listening it. to what they're saying Yo yo these people vote 
do. What if it went to a million people that die from coronavirus? Would you still take the deal? Sure, yeah, get them out. Let's go. If what? your sister or father passed away from the coronavirus, would you still take that deal? For sure, yeah, absolutely. What? You guys, I'm sorry. Would you what take the fuck is going on? She didn't have to think about it.